The Duchess of Sussex declared it was very nice to be back in the UK as she delivered her hotly anticipated address where she told young leaders you are the future. You are the present. But Meghan, 41, was criticised for praising herself. Ingrid Seward, editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, said the Duchess' speech was just me, 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 and praising herself. Meghan last night became the first person to deliver an in-person address in Britain since quitting as a working royal amid Megxi more than two years ago. The former Suits actress told the 2000 audience members how her life had changed when she last joined the summit in London in 2019 singling out her role as a wife and a mother, but making no mention of becoming a senior royal the year before. She said, I joined you in London in 2019. And by that point, it's fair to say, my life had changed rather significantly. I was now married. And I was now a mom, she said, leaving a pause at the end which was filled with huge cheers from the audience. Speaking about her first child son Archie, she added, My worldview had expanded exponentially, seeing the global community through the eyes of my child. The former Suits star, who was dressed in a vivid red high-neck sleek trouser suit, smiled broadly and held hands with her husband, the Duke of Sussex as they made their way through the auditorium to huge cheers, as delegates held up their phones to film them. During the proceedings on Monday, the couple sat in the front row on stage, side by side on a bench, as they joined one young world councillors to watch the flag bearers enthusiastically parading the flags of more than 200 countries. Meghan, with her hair in a ponytail, swayed in time to the music, which included dancing in the streets and respect, as she clapped her hands. Harry leaned over to whisper in his smiling wife's ear a number of times. To cheers, Meghan said in her speech, I'm thrilled that my husband is able to join me here this time. My husband has long advocated for important and necessary impact in the world focusing a huge part of his life's work on the youth. For both of us, bearing witness to the power that you hold in your hands and the unbridled enthusiasm and energy that you have to see things come to fruition, it is just an absolute privilege.